G'day, James Cullen from Stones Corner Marine. And this afternoon, I'm gonna show you over the CJ453 Territory. Now, the Territory is a brilliant little model. Uh, offers so much for the fisherman, the family, the crabber, or the prawner. It's got a high back transom. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. I'm gonna show you the trailer. It's got max horsepower, this one of 70 horsepower. Twin screens on it for the dash, plenty of electronic space. I'll give you a quick run through of this boat. We're gonna start at the trailer boat. Get down here and have a look at this. This is the Red Coast Sportsman trailer. It's the RS model, so the RS 480 MO, option with a C channel frame. So this C channel frame here gives you full access to rinse any salt off the frame after you've launched the boat. It's a great feature, it's a Gauss steel trailer, and it's available at Stones Corner Marine. Spare wheel and carrier, we have option on this trailer. It's a brake trailer, heavy winch post, uh, and a manual retrieve winch. All right. The CJ453 Territory is unpainted standard out of the factory, but also available to option with paint, which is what we've done here. It's a two-tone grey. This is for the darker side sheet, uh, littered with uh, beautiful, colourful decals to really hype up the side of the boat. And it's got the pipeline grey on the inside. Let's take a look over this boat. All right, if we come around to the transom here, there's a couple of things I really like on the, on the CJ Territory model. It's got the high back transom. There's no water getting over this transom at all. It's a 20 inch shaft that's got the high back. Either side, port and starboard, you've got two large duck boards. Just make more, um, getting in and out of the boat, whether it be swimming or at the boat ramp or at home a little bit easier. It's got a large dive ladder that folds down and gives you easy access, being that it's on an angle, easy tread access into the boat. All right, while we're up here, this boat here, the 453, is a maximum of 70 horsepower, and that's what this boat's got fitted to it. This boat is a beauty with the 70 horsepower. You'll never be lacking power at all. Jump up and we'll have a look at the inside of the boat. All right. When you have a look at the CJ Territory, it's also got the deluxe seats standard. So they're a nice high back um, seat. They've got wraparounds here, and a good, good piece for under your bum and legs. So you feel comfortable in this boat, in, this boat uh, in a couple of positions. We've got one, two, three, four seat sockets in which the chairs can be uh, positioned around the boat. Underway, I always recommend the driver's seat and then the, the, the single passenger be in the slightly forward position, whether you face forward or aft. The side console here is, is fitted with Garmin Electronics. We've got two nine inch units, they're linked now, uh, and they sit there either side of the uh, lift up glove box. This unit here is on a ram bracket and it's able to be um, pivoted around so that you can see it from the front cast platform. Really good idea. Something that you should consider when setting up your next boat. Yamaha six weight gauges include fuel management system, steering, switch panel and throttle, all convenient and easy to reach. Got the front of the boat. The CJ Territory has a large cast deck. Plenty of room for two people to stand on and cast and standard with electric motor plate to mount your electric motor. This particular boat here is, has got the Minn Kota on it and it's got the batteries underneath the cast deck along with anchor storage uh, and regular storage. So there's plenty of storage in this boat. I can see a live bait tank in this rear corner and I can see horizontal rod storage on the port side. All in all, this boat is fitted out for the family or the fishermen and I reckon it's worth taking a look. Now, if you want a quote, contact myself James, Glenn, Cliff or Troy, and we'll be more than happy to put a package together for you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.